Two years ago, we began an innovative program for management students called Global Scientific Dialogue. This year, we're going to do the COVID version. The main features of the course are technology. Technology is incredibly important to us, particularly now we're online. Secondly, communication. It's absolutely fundamental that we maintain communication with our students. Thirdly, science, because it's important that we understand scientifically both what we do in education and the scientific connections to the subjects that we study. And finally, creativity, which is connected to technology, and technology is connected to communication, and communication is connected to science, and science is connected to creativity. Taken all together, these areas of inquiry are fundamentally important when we come to think about moving education online. So when we move online, we've got to find new ways of being creative. We need new ways of organising our learning with technology. We need new ways of understanding scientifically what we are doing in education. That means both the biology of education, the sociology and psychology, and so on. And we need new ways to communicate. So the opportunity of Global Scientific Dialogue is to get away from the traditional classroom where the teacher stands at the front and somehow transmits their brain to the students. Is this teaching? Is this learning? Well, probably not. And in the world outside, of course, our students are immersed in technology and they are communicating with other people who are immersed in technology and some of those people are teachers. So we can ask what kind of activities can be organised with technology? Here are some examples of innovative activities. This is Flipgrid, which we're going to use on the course, and Mozilla Hubs, which is a 3D virtual world. So there are lots of questions to ask with these technologies. How can we use time differently? How can we use space differently? But most importantly, how can we engage the intellect of our students and our teachers in new ways using technology? And what tools have we got? Well, we've got video, text, shared editors, artificial intelligence, art tools, uh, sensors, mobile phones, and so on. So come and join us. Learn how to make the most of video and text, online discussion, artificial intelligence, 3D worlds, mobile devices, and more. But more importantly, learn how to use these tools to help us all to think and communicate better.